Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Marla from Marla's Crafty and I just got back from three days of crafting with my friend Stacy and we made several things and I just want to show you one of the things that we made. Okay, so Stacy had said that she had bought some handkerchiefs on uh, Amazon that look like this. Um, just plain cotton handkerchiefs and she wanted to make some cards with these handkerchiefs and using like doll figures and she showed me the examples that she saw on Pinterest and it was like old-fashioned dolls um, like from patterns or uh, magazine cutouts and so I was thinking that I could do a little better than that and then I started looking through my stash and I had gobs and gobs of vintage handkerchiefs that I had bought at the thrift store. Probably when I would go over to where they have that you could buy clothes by the pound. So they literally cost next to nothing. And I've just got, I've got a ton left. I've got a big stack over here too. Um. And I'm thrilled that I found something that I love making with them. So let me show you my take on handkerchief cards. Um, what I ended up using was I got these uh, A9 flat cards from uh, Hobby Lobby. They were half off. These cards are five and a half by eight and a half inches. Um, so plenty big to do uh, any kind of uh, big car, uh, big figure card like that. And I used these Jane Davenport, like, I want to say they're coloring books, but she says that they're art journals. But on the inside, and I got this at Hobby Lobby also, but I've got all of these figures. So, um, I used some of those, and then I used my jelly plate. I used inks, stamps, uh, I cut out some pattern paper, I used some dyes, I used my mixed media gel sticks, I used watercolors, I used uh, oil pastels, colored pencils, uh, Tombow markers, Ever, anything I could think of that I wanted so here are some of the here are the cards that I made and of course Stacy made some too I don't know might need to hold on a second I'm just gonna lift up a little bit there we go okay so you can see a little better okay so I've got this folded. This is one of the Jane Davenport dolls and I had used uh, the mixed media stuff to color her in. Uh, I don't know if you can tell but she's kind of got a little shimmer. Um, I've got some die cut leaves right here. The background I used uh, ink and my gel and my jelly plate and just made kind of an ombre background and then I stamped these uh, feathers and then I used the mixed media to just go along the edges. I used some bling here and this You Are Unique um, it is a Jane Davenport die that I had. So there is that one. I thought that turned out really pretty. And to get it in the envelope, you, I just have to like fold up her little skirt like that. And I feel like it will mail fine, just add a little extra postage. So there's that one. And then I made this one. And this one, um, when I was coloring her, I had... Uh, 
I just cut the whole piece out instead of just cutting the girl out. And when I was coloring the background, I had got some of this aqua color on her skin, and I thought, well, I'm just going to go with it. And I turned her into a mermaid. And I've got the handkerchief placed. And then I've got these pieces of scrap that I have uh, glued here to make it look like waves. Um, I've got a little more mixed media in different colors. And you can see the shimmer. But I love how that turned out. So there's that one. And then this one. Um, this one, the page was that color and I did very little to her skin tone, but I, uh, colored her hair and added a little highlights. I had stamped this butterfly first before I glued her down and again, use the jelly plate to like smoosh some ink and just kind of make, I like the oranges and reds. I love how it turned out. And then you can see her legs underneath. So technically, they could take the handkerchief out, whoever I give it to, and then they'll still have a really pretty card. But who's going to be using handkerchiefs these days, for real? We're in a Kleenex world, people. Okay, so there's this one. And then this one. You can see I used that shimmer... Uh, mixed media gel on her hair. On this one, I had uh, used the gel plate and then I stamped these little dandelion uh, on there with a gray. I used the mixed media to make some polka dots and that one turned out really pretty. And then I saw this girl and I thought she was beautiful. And at first I had colored her with my Tombow markers. But her skin turned a little splotchy. So I ended up going over it with the mixed media gel sticks. And I love how the, it just shimmers. And then I've got a... I've done the background with the gel plate. I've glued a little just round pieces of collage paper and then I've stenciled on top. So there's that one. And then this one I used a Julie Netting doll and just colored her up, stamped her on the card and just masked her off and did the background. You can see her little flowers and this was just a sweet little card. You can see I've got grass and used a little bling where the buttons are. I thought that turned out adorable. And then this is the last one I made. And this, uh, this paper was like leftover uh, from a gel printing I did. And so I had all this green on it. So I ended up stamping all these leaves on it. And then using a paint pen to go along the sides. I had cut out circles of this collage paper and then went around it with some white paint pen. And she is actually from, she's like from the introduction page uh, on this book. So I thought she was really pretty and just cut her out. And I didn't have to color her at all. I just loved her as is. So, but she doesn't have any legs. So, whoever gets that is going to have to keep the handkerchief on there as a skirt. Anyway, this is what I, some of the things that I made this weekend. I just wanted to share. Hope you guys are doing well and you have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.